Hello, hello, how may I help you? I don't know why I'm not going to voice, I'm not good at voices, what, what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> no way, kid. You're off early early, aren't you? Thought you were coming here tomorrow. Hmm? They know each other? I know, but I'm not here to get anything. It's those three ladies over here. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. And what pretty ladies they are. Nice going, son. Uh, so what can I do for you? Well, I describe the issues of my current condition as best as I can to the pharmacist. That's so, huh? I see, I see. I don't experience any direct pain, but I can't help but worry. I have a bad feeling about it. If that's the case, then how about this? Dried aqua mana frog brains ground into a fine powder that you drink. These frogs grow up in a mana rich area. It'll help restore your mana circulation. Wait, wait, what? Brains? Is, is that really medicine? Seems to be a physical condition. You could try this too. The pharmacist takes out a small glass vial filled with a cloudy white liquid. And this is... The uh, critters that swim around... <laughs> I just read, just read a bit ahead and I was like, oh god. <laughs> there are these critters that swim in around the feeder stream called the Vila Sea Slug. This is their sperm. It's nice and thick. Huge proof to your sexual virility. One shot of this and you could stay up for three days and three nights working it. This sounds like... <laughs> It sounds like he has experience using it. <laughs> Sperm. What do you expect me to do with that? You drink it. Like hell I'm gonna drink that filth. <laughs> it works wonders when you're dead tired. I'll give you a good price. <laughs> oh my god, how I laugh at this situation at the moment. <laughs> Are you even listening? I'm not looking for strange folk me remedies. Don't you have any normal, actual medicine? The sexual virility, he says. Aren't things like that reserved for men? Rage, how rude. Fine, I like. I'll have you know all my products are safe, accepted medicine. You expect me to believe that after you have the gall of recommending some kind of virility booster to me? Ah, uh, you sure like to raise a fuss, don't you? What a waste of a pretty face. I'm just gonna put this out there. That's none of your damn business. Put out. You haven't put out anything yet. <laughs> That's enough. I don't need any of this. <laughs> this conversation isn't going well. And now Runek is exposed to what kind of conversation is happening as well now. <laughs> so what will be? You're gonna buy something or not? I'm telling you. With those symptoms of chronic infirmity, these here medicines are what I can prescribe you. You must be kidding me. Frog brain and sea slug semen are the last things I'd even consider ingesting. Don't you have any he carry sleeves? You what now? What are you talking about? Never heard of that in my entire life. Okay, at this point, even paint colors are fine. What about oja petals? They're dried and ground into a powder to be inhaled. You must have come from who knows where, because I've never heard of that either. I, I'll i bet you if I don't know that stuff, then no one else around here would have it either. Don't you realise that you're nowhere near home? We've got our own medicines here. Ah, uh, I, sh I should have realised that that would be the case. Let's go. Eh, but don't you need your medicine? You're not getting anything? Are you sure, Fatona? You heard what he said. What do you expect me to get with products like these? Besides, just blindly trusting someone passing something off as medicine is a terrible idea. A better off finding a real medical crafter. Well, that's awfully rude of you. If you ain't buying anything, then see yourselves out. Shoo, just shoo. <laughs> you sure know how to talk with customers. I'm surprised you get any sale at all. Eh, that ain't none, that ain't none of your business. Oh, before I forget, K 
kiddo. Sorry to break it to you, but prices gone up this month. Eh? It's gonna cost you 40% more. What? 40? 40%? It's so sudden, I can't. Well, if you don't want it, you don't have to buy it. There's a whole bunch of others who are more than willing to pay. Fine. Soul's expression. Soul's energy, Soul's energy drained as though a switch had been flipped in him. From then on, Soul stayed completely silent, speaking only when spoken to. I couldn't tell what he was thinking, judging solely by the look on his face. He no longer had any of the energy he had when we first met him. It was already noon by the time we finished the more important half of our errands. It seems that none of the taverns had any real offerings in terms of food, so we decided to have a quick meal at a restaurant in the heart of the city. Let's see, the last thing on the list is a map. A map? I guess we can check a general store. Hmm, that's gonna be a problem. A problem? What do you mean? For starters, there are way too many any of them out there. I do know a place that sells maps, but... Well, you'll see when we get there. They've got dozens of maps of the same place, but they're all totally different from each other. What? what? That's not going to be very helpful then. Now, this is going to be a problem. We can't plot a course back home if we don't have any reliable information about the area. How is this even possible? Doesn't this region have some kind of organisation to regulate and ensure the quality of the maps? What now, Ritona? Just wandering around randomly isn't going to help us... isn't going to get us anywhere either. Damn. Considering we've travelled... never travelled for this long, I never knew we'd encounter a problem as simple as this sooner or later. I knew we'd encounter a problem as simple as this sooner or later. I was completely at a loss until Rune jumped in. Yeah, don't worry about that. I know the topography of the entire region, but... As long as we get a completely unlabeled map, I'm going to fill it in. What? Is that also Lab 9's doing? Yes, when Albus sent me the information earlier, information on the area around Miss Cantor and Ceres was also part of the transmission. That, that's amazing, Rune. Convenient, alright, that's for sure. Can we re re really rely on you, huh, Rune? <laughs> it's not like I did anything, but it feels weird to be complimented. It looks like you can work something out then? Yes, just take us to any general store. We'll take care of the rest. Alright, got it. Suddenly, yeah. What? Mitona, are you okay? It's freezing cold. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, 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 I'm so, so sorry. After getting past the initial shock of what happened, I calmed down. But, I, I'm so sorry, miss. I didn't mean to. No, it's fine. That was just, well, quite a surprise. Making a fuss over a spilt pitcher, pitcher of water would be far too immature. Please, let me apologise by covering your bill. Forgive me. No need for that. These things happen to everyone. Hey, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. But cold, cold as heck. No, you're not fine. You're still not feeling well, right? That is true. A glass of water would have been fine, but an entire pitcher's worth? That's a different story. You're definitely going to catch a cold like that, Fitona. Let's just go back to the inn, okay? That's a problem. If we go back to the inn now, it'll be dark by the time we make our way to the general store. Don't worry, I know a bath house nearby. You can warm, up, warm yourself up with a bath and dry your clothes there. Good idea. Should we come with you? No, no need. 
If you're in a hurry, I could give you the directions to the general store from here. I'll take the one in black to the bathhouse so we can meet up at the store. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but if you're going to the bathhouse, could you let me cover your expenses there as well? Wow, she's really feeling bad about this. Good grief. Can the two of you head on to the general store ahead of us? I'll contact you via Comcraft once I finish changing at the bathhouse. Eh, you want us to split up then? Are you sure? It's exactly what the Comcraft is for. So this pal has a house of yours, it's just in the neighbourhood, yes? Yeah, it less than five less than a five minute walk from here. Although the way there is a bit confusing. Can you show you're fine with this, Ritona? It's nothing but cold water. Don't worry about it. Alright, so lead the way. Okay. I guess lunch is on the house, so once you finish, just head on over to that building and then go give Selfie and Rune directions to the general store. I doubt anything will come up, but if something does if something does happen, let me know right away. Got it. So to the bathhouse we go. The path to the bathhouse was full of twists and turns. We arrived at an old dilapidated bathhouse before I could even commit the entire route to memory. A public bathhouse? I've only ever heard about these. This might be the first time I've ever seen one in person. These no longer exist in Ruth and Heidi. It says room 13 on the second floor is available. Here we go. Interesting, each customer has their own private dressing room. The waitress gave enough money so I'll go pay. I'll just wait for you outside, so come out when you're done. So leaves me with these words as he steps outside and closes the door. Silence fills the room. I suppose no one is going to take a bath in the middle of the day. There wasn't a single customer to be heard. As if I was cut off from the rest of the world. An eerily strange feeling of isolation. Well, let's start. Oh, this is happening. Oh well. <laughs> I shift the manner from the air around me into pyro. Slowly, carefully, making sure I don't aggravate my own condition. Hmm. It's still a little damp. Well, this much should be alright. It'll dry out soon enough once I wear it. If at all possible, I don't want to expend mana just to dry my own clothes. Alright, now what? Hopefully, all my worries are for nothing. Hmm? Hey kid, someone's using that room. Yeah, I know, my big sister's in there. She forgot to bring some soap with her. As I expected. A, a glass wall? Wasn't that pose, Ritona? What is with that pose? <laughs> hey, you were there, huh? Silence. He doesn't flinch. How can he remain this calm? Quite the elaborate setup you had going on. Was the waitress in on this too? Did you expect this to happen? Well, you never trusted me in the first place. Sorry, just part of my job. <laughs> so, what you gonna do now? Hand me over to the guards? No, of course you won't. You don't have it in you to do something like that. You sure, soul sure talks big for someone trapped like a rat. What makes you say that? We've known each other for less than two days. What makes you think I'm going to show you any mercy? It's so easy to see. You're too naive. Even now, after catching me red-handed, you're trying to cover for me, trying to justify why I would steal from you. <laughs> you're a lot more persuasive than I give you credit for. You know, 
Is it, do you know why I go for women when I look for people to guide around? Hell if I know. Cause we, uh, because we women aren't as dangerous as men? Wrong. Although men tend to let their guards down when they're with someone who's weaker than them. Women, women have a strong, very strong mob mentality. They're far easier targets. It's a cinch to get girls to like me, logically. I'd really planned to go back to that inn earlier this morning. You did pay me in advance after all. But the way you reacted when he called me a visky, that was when I knew. I knew that you never experienced anything like this. And that's what made me realise you were easy pickings. Good thing I was the first one to find walking bags of money like you three. If I picked a worse target, who knows where, I have, where I'd have ended up. Is that all you have to say? What's the point in confessing to me like this? Why don't you let me go? What nonsense is he saying now? Ah, honestly, this is getting tiring. This is enough. I already knew from the start. I knew that sooner or later, he would show his true self. Fine, on two conditions. Put the money on that table. On. Wait, what? Put that money on your table? Yeah, put the money on that table and never show your face to us again. Okay. It all ends exactly as I'd expected. My worries were indeed warranted, plain and simple. <laughs> Hell no. That's not what I mean. I'm telling you to let me go with the money. You do that and I'll let you off the hook. Can you even hear yourself right now? There's no escape for you, boy. You took the word right out of my mouth. I'll let you in on something. This place is also called the Swindler's Nest. Bad people like me lure easy targets like you in, just like now. The guards don't even come near this hellhole. Got it? This is my turf. You piss me off and I'll call my buddies in. They aren't as nice as nice they aren't as nice and welcoming as I am, got it? Is he bluffing or serious? More importantly, do I have enough strength left in me to check? The more mana craft I use, the worse my condition gets. I could tell I've hit my limit just putting up the camouflage earlier. Rubbish. If you really did have a call accomplices with you, then why didn't you just rob us all, all right out? Last night was the perfect opportunity when we were in the dark alley by the restaurant. Why bother setting up this elaborate scheme? You all look like such dumb easy targets. I didn't want to rough you up. I was just being a nice guy. It's your last chance, Saul. Place the money on the table and never show your face to us again. Suddenly, he pulled out a sediment stone from his chest pocket. He drew a circle around his side on the floor beneath him. See you later. And bored a hole through the floor. Did he have an aircraft embedded in that sediment? Damn, escaped to the first floor. I jumped down the hole to give chase. So, so I swear. What the hell are you doing? You think you can get away with this? Sorry, but I'm a victim here too. Damn souls, you've run way too fast. He had to have undergone some kind of ritual. Where is he? Where? Where? What the hell is with that kid? Hey, excuse me, did you see a child roughly 10 years old? Uh, it, yeah, um, he ran that way. Hey! I dashed with all my might towards the alley that passerby pointed out. There. So, damn it all, you must, have under you must have gone into this maze like every on purpose. If I lose sight of him now, I'll never see him again. As we exit towards the beachside area, Sol throws something in my direction. Again, sediment? Another craft. Smoke screen, eh? Whoa, 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 what the? A smoke bomb? How cliche. 
I run right through the smoke. You're a persistent one, aren't you? Hello. Soul continues to knock over various objects on display from the caravan. Crates, barrels, anything he can get his hands on. Hey, hey Soul, stop it. He's like a person gone mad, desperately trying to run from whatever appears to be certain death for him. This is getting dangerous. I need to stop him before someone gets hurt. Down. Do I stop giving chase? What the freaking hell are you two doing? Get back here! Oh, just wait till I get my hands on the bow of you. I'm gonna beat you to death. Damn it. That's not gonna work now. If I stop here, I'm going to be the one in trouble. This way. If only I could force him to stop instead. Using a mana craft barrier at long distance. Can I do it? Even while running like this? Can I do it in my current condition? Oh, God. Damn it. What should you do here, you damn punk? No choice. There's a fork up ahead. If I stop him right as he enters. Mana craft at long distance. This is going to strain my body, but I don't have a choice. Now, bless. Take this. What? I did it. It all stopped at the sudden appearance of the glass barrier. But after his sudden falter, he quickly recovers and dashes into a small side alley. Damn it. Agile bastard. There. A lucky break. This is a it's a dead end. Nowhere to run now, soul. Uh, ah. Ah. Uh, I vision. It's fading. Is it fatigue? No, this. This is much worse than. I can't. Selfine. Uh. Huh? What's the matter, Sally? I think Ritona just contacted me. Ritona? Ritona, what's going on? Ritona? Is, is something wrong? Ritona. Ritona isn't responding. What? Rude, we need to get to the bathhouse now. Ask someone for the directions. G got it. What? Just... Alright, alright. Show's over. Wow, this isn't looking good. Oh dear. Oh my. You're practically burning up. Who, who, who are you? Hmm? Ah, well, just call me a genius passing through. You know her? Who knows? Maybe I do, and if I do, well, that, that'll be quite the story. Hmm. Oh, relax, kid. Roughing up little brats like you is, a, is the last thing on my mind. You know her, but you're not going to tell me to give back the money? Money. Oh, her money. Well, that explains why you two were playing cops and robbers. Mm, whatever. Who cares? What? Take it. This girl... probably grew up in a country where the whole money thing doesn't even exist. She wouldn't know what to do with it in the first place. You're much better off making use of it. Right? Soul Harthaga. How... How do you know my name? Your name? That's nothing. Soul Harthaga. Harthaga? From 4th Street. Both parents went missing two years ago. Shy and introverted. Doesn't join groups of swindlers and works alone. Not a single friend. Has a likeable personality, but it's only a facade. Doesn't try to get close to anyone. Doesn't ask for help from anyone. He draws travellers of their monies to care for his sick twin sister. A 12 year old kid. Admirable but with zero future prospects. A real piece of work. Just how long is your web of lies going? Gonna last though, half of the... Just... Who are you? How do you know all this? Me? Well, I know everything. And not to stick my nose too far, but... Maybe you, you can embed... Minecraft into sediment. That means you've already undergone that ritual, haven't you? How do you... Now, no matter your reasons are, no matter what your reasons are, there are still two, you're still two years too young for that. It doesn't make, it doesn't sound like much, but at your age, two years can make all the difference. A kid like you shouldn't be using such flashy mana craft. You still got some kicks in that mana signature of yours. 
do anything bad, and it'll be pretty obvious to work. It is, understand? Seriously? Who, who the hell are you? Hmm. Like I said, just a genius passing through. Anyway, I'll be taking care of her now. Ooh. 